Hey everyone, welcome back. We are doing a little bit of play testing. I'm kind of undecided between Mono Green Tron, Eldrazi Tron, and um, and Scape Shift right now, or Breed Shift. Um, this is pretty much the same list I think we ran last week. I haven't really found a reason to update anything else. I've only been able to play a little bit this last week. Um, we're in league with this twice. I went 3 2 and 4 1, I think, and then. Yeah, so no real changes here. Um, so let's just jump right into the league. I'm trying to get ready for SCG Columbus. I've been playing as much, so wanted to get some games in and see what I can do to get prepared for the event. I'm much happier with where the format's at right now. It's a uh, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with like the decks that are in the top place. Um, yeah, a good mix of stuff. Nothing, you know, unfair. So, uh, this hand does nothing and doesn't form anything, so we're going to ship this. This hand does, so we'll keep it. Um, so we have to keep the crown, all of this. Relic I want to keep as well. Just because of the high chance of going against a graveyard deck. So I think I'm going to ship the Blast Zone. I want to keep the Willamog as a payoff spell. Even though it's a little bit harder to get going, obviously. Hmm. That, uh, that Blast Zone would have been pretty good against this kind of deck, huh? That's okay. Let's see what we're up against. See if it's either Mono Red or Burn or Phoenix. Okay, so this looks like Mono Red Phoenix. They pitched some good stuff. We can hit him with this relic. What you got for us? Pitch like a double Phoenix. Just be cool. Be cool. Hmm, nothing amazing. If we hit it now, we still stop them from uh, casting another looting. Mm -mm -mm. Guess I'm not against that. We're not. F or should we just be forming? Yeah, you know what? Let's just form Tron. We can do that next turn. And we have the higher chance of getting a payoff now. If we get, I mean, uh, doing something. If we get uh, just draw. Any of these two draws, well, one draw now, but let's do what our deck's supposed to do. So next turn, we'll at the very least drop an an Ugin, but possibly drop an Ulamog. Wanna swing at us for two? Take two. Sure. 
feed us more things. Uh, I'm just going to pop this right now. We're going to run out this Ugin. And then we're going to minus one on them. Show them what's what. Yeah. Okay. So I want to bring in thought knots, thrags. Does the mono red phoenix? I imagine they play blood moon in this side. Maybe not. No, they play alpine moon. So we still want to bring in the nature's claim, and I want to bring in the relic as well. Uh, I'm gonna take out the ulamogs. They're a bit slower. And I think I'm good with cutting the Karns as well. Car uh, this great creator can go fetch up, you know, some of our lockdown pieces, which I think will be relevant. Bring in those. I'm actually going to cut the Ballista and bring in the other Worm Coil as well. Yeah, I like this. I like this arrangement. This is a slow hand informing Tron, but it's got the relic, it's got double stirrings and scrying, so I think it's good enough for me to keep. This should form like a turn four Tron, so. Let's run out the star and we'll pass it over. Phoenix. So we'll probably hold for a turn here. Let's just run out the relic. And we're just going to pop it right now. I want to get them off of that Faithless and that uh, Phoenix. And look at that. Found another charm piece. Form ourselves some Tron action. And then let's crack this for a green. Let's go stirring. See what goodies we can find. Thought Knot's not bad. Another threat. Bowstone as well. I think we'll take the Thought Knot. We already got a relic in hand. And we'll pass it over. In us. Pretty rude. They probably just want to empty out their hand, right? Because they, they see the Thought Knot. Which would then make us just want to cast the Thrag. We got one card left. It's a chance it's a land. We're going to go to one. Pretty painful. I think we're just going to have to drop the... Drop the Thrag here. I think we're going to tap it this way so we can run off the Relic as well. They could have fought on a little bit more, but who knows? Maybe they had two blink 
cards in their hand, two lands or something. So are you guys excited for the new plane, the toe? <laughs> uh, I find that a funny little shirt name. I'm pretty excited for uh, El not Elves, um, fairies to be back in the format. That'd be cool. Did you guys see the price spike on uh, Bitter Blossom? That was pretty sick. Two pieces of Tron is good enough for me. One more land means at the very least we can cast a Karn, triple cantrip. Seems good. That seems. Oh man. But I like our cards. Our graveyard interaction too. Alright, we're gonna ship it. I don't want to crack it in case we get a scrying or anything, so we can wait one more turn. Hmm, another thought seems. How rude of them. We just want to play cards. We're just, we're just good at this game, folks, you know? If you've ever questioned it, we just walk right in the trunk. Not even a big deal. You know, just rip it off the top with the payoff spell after they thought sees us twice. <laughs> this game's stupid. <laughs> uh, so I want to bring in Worm Coil Engine. Um, usually they bring in a lot of land destruction against Jun, so it's harder to get Ulamog off, even though I know that once we resolve it, we kind of just win, but... Um... Let's see, what else? Like, I don't really like bringing in Thought Knots, I don't think, anymore. It's a little bit risky. I don't mind the Walking Ballista, though. I'll take out, like, the, uh... the Bobs. Um... That might just be the entire swap we do. Debatably, we should bring, be bringing in a Relic, but uh, to shrink the Goyce and whatnot, and take out the uh, the Pyromancer, but I don't think that's really that big of a deal. Yeah, let's just run it like this. Mm. This hand's not doing enough. Let's ship it. This hand's not either. This hand is. We'll keep this one. Um, I guess we'll ship the tower and the relic. See if we can live the dream.
Well, Trim's dead. Well, <laughs> I guess the dream's alive again. <laughs> Don't have a thought seize upon it. Don't. <sighs> Inquisition. They're going to be sad. They're going to be sad when you see this. Who does this? Oh, I'm going to laugh if they have like an Assassin's Trophy too, and then we just have this open scrying now. is rude. Okay. Okay, where are we at in life? We're at Goyf, that's where we're at in life. I'm gonna play the Sanctum here. Just in case they have another way to blow up our lands, we may want to go get a green source and cast Sylvan Scrying, but. More likely than not, we'll just be casting the Karn, but. We just want to make sure. It doesn't change anything in any way. Because we'll be playing this, the Tower, then the Sanctum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, of course they'll wait for us to do this. Go fetch up the green source. I blow up a land. I still can scry. I still think this is probably the correct call. Just go get the force. fast clock. I think we I'm trying to think of how we stay alive here. Hit for seven, we're dead next turn. I think we're just dead. Yeah, we're just dead. We can cast Karn. We have two pieces. We got a Blast Zone. We got a Relic to Shrink for Goyf, too. Yay! Their Inquisition misses! Mm. 
Well, I think I'm going to crack the relic here. Just to see if we can get another chance of getting at that uh, mine. Yeah. I'm going to get a liquid metal coating, run it out, pass over, shut down their green, yeah, nice, starting the league off strong, 2-0, that's what we're talking about. hand does a whole lot of nothing, as does this hand, and we got it. Ship the factory, and I think we'll ship the sanctum as well. This way we can see if we need to get another tower for uh, the Ulamog on turn 4. Might be going against the old school. I'm gonna run out the map here just because if it is and they're playing like the burning inquiry, I don't want to lose both of our tron pieces and not have the map to be able to get something. Interesting addition for them. I wonder how, if this is like the old school version of this deck, how easy it is for them to cast that. Because most of their creatures were red. Oh, there goes Ulamog. Big dude. this out and we'll pass it over. If we get to go to the next turn I'm pretty sure we're just gonna grab um, ensnaring bridge. I'm gonna try to slow down this bleeding as much as possible. It's a nice little addition for them. All this one drop cycling lands. Pop in the graveyard and get rid of those faithless lootings in the loam. They mm -mm -mm. should have a pretty hard time getting rid of Ensnaring Bridge in the main. But then if we want to run off the O Stone, we could we would die. Yeah, I'm gonna second guess myself a little bit here and let's get the relic. We'll run that out. We'll crack it. And then we'll run out this. It's 
sphere and pass it over. Yeah, if they want to kill Karn, we're okay with it. If they want to put Karn to one, we're also okay with that. The last zone. Tick up Karn. Do we want to run up the blast zone? And do we want a stirring here? Do we want to hold up O stone? other relic and I think the thought not the thread tusk will be important just to slow them down a bit take out both Ulamogs I think Karn might be just a little too slow I want to bring in the worm crawl so we'll trim another Karn and the other ballista doesn't seem bad so we'll trim the last Karn as well we might want to be bringing in the nature's claim if they're on like blood moon but we didn't see it so we're not gonna put them on that until we know for sure Mm -mm. Ship that. Keep this. Let's get rid of the scrying. Our, uh, our map. So we don't want to just run out our sphere anymore, I don't think. Or our map. I think we'll just pass. That way we can crack the sphere and cast grind right away or use the map and fetch it right away. Or they can thought seize us. Take away one of those two. But we'll still have the other part. that over. Sure. Seems like a fun little interaction for them.
performed Tron here, but it might have been a better call to go fetch up uh, Blast Zone or Green Source there potentially, but we'll see. We're going to take a card from them so then they can't do the Hollow, um, the Zombie Infestation shenanigans this turn. Still hit us for two guaranteed. Still can't do it. Let's go Ghost Quarter and we'll pass it over. What we might have to do here is we're going to create a factory token or assembly worker. Oh, they brought these shenanigans to bring that back. Okay, interesting. This is so they can uh, shoot our thing down. If they do that, they can't pump at the very least. But on our turn, we might have to go to float the mine mana, ghost quarter it, get green, um, play the other mine at stirrings, just so we can go see if we can find a threat. that they'll blow it up hmm, interesting I thought they would react I guess they value the damage more Could just run him out. We brought in our ballista and our worm coil. We could run him out and can't really grab anything super. It's a big deal. If we go get lattice, they'll just kill him. Right? Which is a bit of a bummer. They can't activate Zombie Infestation next turn, which is good. It still might be the best bet just to float the mana and go get a green source here. We're doing well, folks. We're on the way to the 5 and 0 dream. We would love to go first, and we would love to ship this hand away. This hand's not much better. Goodbye. This hand's great. We'll keep it. Um, we're gonna ship this. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna just risk it. We're gonna ship the Sylvan Scrying and the Chromatic Star.
Okay, looks like we're going against Neil form. And they kept their seven, so I assume we're dead. <laughs> uh, sad. Well, if we get to turn three, we can um, car and Trinisphere, which should stop them. Cool. Is this good? Huh? Huh? Yeah! Now we're playing with fire. And lock you out of the game? Good stuff, good stuff. Thought we were dead for sure when they kept the seven. Alright, I don't want the relics. I want the thought knots. Um, mm, mm, mm. Ballista, so we can interact with them a little bit. Possibly kill their lab maniac. I believe they're still on that plan. Um, I think we want to bring in the Pithing Needle as well, because we want to be able to interact with them as soon as possible. The Trinisphere being the side should be good enough. I don't think Nature's Claim is relevant here, so we'll take out the Ulamogs, and we'll take out the Ugans. Bring all that in. And we'll... Oop, I didn't bring in enough. I also took out the Relics. Um, mm 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 they use relic like a t like they use the graveyard just a tiny bit. I really don't know if that's worth it. Uh, I guess we're gonna we could bring in a worm coil to swing at them and the thrag test if possible for game life if they're on the lightning storm plan. But I think they've all switched over to the uh, to the uh, the lab maniac plan, right? This hand's too slow. This hand's too slow as well, unless we go like Tron Piece, Tron Piece Scrying, like turn four. This doesn't seem good enough. This doesn't seem good enough. This does. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, no big deal. Just rip the card. Let's thought not see what they're working with. Oh, they could see it. Okay, okay. 4 0. One away, folks. Got the 5 0 dream lined up.
will go first. This hand doesn't do anything. Neither does this one. Mm, this hand's good enough, I think. I think we're gonna ship the O stones. And keep that. It's not ideal, but it can possibly walk into it. Um, we'll see if it's good enough. It's a nifty hand, of course, but I didn't really want to go much lower. This and this hand has a lot of potential. Wayfinder. I like that card a lot. Played it in standard for that stupid uh, Unburial Rights deck. That deck was a blast. Looks like that's a really good pile for them. <laughs> Double Vengevine and a Hogak. We're uh, definitely gonna need a. Uh... Oh, they bend it all. They didn't even want anything. They just want more fuel for that Hogak. Cast the Hogak. Alright, so um, we need to rip the Tron piece off the top of the deck, otherwise we lose. We lose. Because we can't form Tron until two turns, which means, even at like best case, um, I guess there is a small chance that we rip the tower off the top or the plant, so we'll grab the power plant, play it, see if we have a chance. So we can rip it exactly off the top of the deck. We're okay, because I think even with that, they can only do 14 to us, right? We'll be at 2. Oh, no way. That's pretty sweet. Yep, we're dead. They get Vengevine back, they get Gravecrawl back, they sack the Gravecrawler again. Pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. That was slick. <laughs> oh, all right, let's bring in Thry Tusk, Thought Knots. Uh, bring in Worm Coil. Bring in Relic. Take up the Ulamog. Um, and we'll take out a couple cards. Uh, we'll bring in the other Ballista and take out Karn as well. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, man. Fenge Mine's a fun card.
This hand's not great, but it's got the relic, and we've got two cantrips as a result. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. Don't really like it. I feel like our 5-0 is slipping away, folks. Okay, okay, we're kind of climbing our way back into the dream. Let's do this. I don't want to leave it open. They can't really do anything against this speed, right? So we'll do this. Sylvan's crying. Tower. Play tower. Target them. Pass it over. That's good enough for me to pop this. <clears throat> okay, just the blood gas. you're hitting. That's a whole gag. And a Vengevine. Get a land, bring back blood gas. Cast their whole gag. Get their Vengevine back as well. Not good, not good. They hit us for like seven, eight, nine if they want. Mm-mm-mm. We went land, Karn, and Snaring Bridge. They'd still be able to swing with Vengevine. Um, but I think that's the correct call. And then after that, we go six. Okay. Hopefully they don't have well, they'll also bring back blood gas, and we'll go to uh, four, and then we drop worm coil. We'll see if that's enough. Mm. 
in either line we take here, whether it's running off the worm coil or the ensnaring bridge, if they have the uh, shenanigans, we just lose. Oh wait, I didn't count for the land, I just... They can attack with the Carrion Feeder. I punted that game. That's so unfortunate. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh, I miscounted my hand, car, cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they had a trophy anyway. Okay, well, that's game. Not bad. Four and one. I'm happy with that run. Let's uh, end that stream. Not, not the stream. End that recording.